Hello Sonia. Congratulations. Everybody liked your Amazon Echo Dot you created on Raspberry Pi in the science fair. The spy camera was cool too. You are a genius, girl. Sure, Harry. It was very easy to experiment with Raspberry Pi this time. I finished it faster than expected. What trick did you play this time, Sonia? So previously, I would only try all my Raspberry Pi projects at home only, since I have the Raspberry Pi hardware at home. I could not experiment with my Raspberry Pi projects on any other computers like my PCs or Mac. So now, Raspberry Pi has introduced a cool new operating system called Pixel, which you can run on PCs as well as Mac without even getting the Raspberry Pi hardware. So you can try all your Pi projects in any system without owning the Pi hardware. That's terrific. I was also trying to build a streaming internet radio on Raspberry Pi. Looks like I can now build it on my PC without getting the Pi hardware, right? Yes, definitely. So I basically have Pixel, Ubuntu, and Windows running in the same machine. That's why I can experiment with so many different projects on different platforms. So how cool is that, Harry? Okay, I see. But how can you run so many different platforms in the same machine? Through virtualization, Harry. Basically, with virtualization, you can run multiple operating systems in one computer. There's a tool called VirtualBox which will help you accomplish that task. Can you show me how? Sure. Drop by my house this Saturday morning, Harry. I'll show you step by step. Okay, Sonia, time to show your trick. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here you can see my uh, Windows machine. If I go to the control panel and go to system, you can see that I'm running Windows 7. So that's my main operating system. Now here's the magic. If I go down below, you can see that this is my Pixel machine running the Raspberry Pi, uh, Raspberry Pi's Pixel operating system. So on the top left I have the different programming, Python 2, 3, different office tools, it has internet. So it is just like another uh, computer but it's running, but this one is the Pixel operating system. And here is my Ubuntu machine uh, which is using the Ubuntu operating system and this one is also like another computer, it has Firefox, Office tools, uh, and everything. So it's just like another computer. So if I put everything side by side, you can see that I have the Pixel operating system on the left from Raspberry Pi. On the right, I am running the Ubuntu operating system, and I'm also running Windows 7. So all three operating systems I'm running from the same machine and this makes it easy to try different projects. And I'm starting this from the virtual box, which is enabling me to running the Pixel and Ubuntu and Windows in the same machine. So at first, go to Google and type download virtual box. Uh, click on the first link and download virtual box for your platform. I have a Windows machine, so I'm downloading the Windows uh, version. And as soon as it finishes uh, downloading, get it from the Downloads folder, copy it, and I'm pasting it in my desktop. So here is my .exe file, so double click on that and click on run and then it's going to ask you uh, a bunch of things so, so just accept the defaults and hit next 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 so I'll hit yes and then we'll just wait for this virtual box to finish installing and as mentioned before this virtual box is the tool that will enable us to run 
all the three different operating systems from the same machine. So we will click on install and it asks us this question about this software and then install again and you hit install one more time so accept all the defaults nothing to change and then they, when the installation is complete click on finish and there you go here we have the welcome screen for the virtual box it's also you have a shortcut on your desktop called Oracle VM Virtual Box. So double click on it and it's going to open up. And this is the welcome screen and from here we will launch all our operating systems. So the next part of the project is to download all the files that are required to do this project. So I have already uploaded all the project files in the Cool Inventor website so you can download it from there. So to make your life easier, I have compiled all the different operating systems and everything that you will need in one location. And uh, you just need to download it from the website uh, before proceeding to the next step. So you can see that there are five things that you need. And down below is the .exe file and you can use this to uh, install your virtual box. So you can get the .exe file from here or you can get it from the internet from the actual virtual box website as I showed you in the previous step. And with that there are two additional files, the Pixel uh, ISO and the Ubuntu ISO. And these are, these ISO files are basically, it's basically like, uh, like a CD and uh, we need to play this CD inside our operating system. And here you can see my two operating systems, the Pixel and Ubuntu operating system. So again, I have uh, built the operating system to VirtualBox and put it here. So it's going to reduce one step for you. So uh, these are basically all the things that we need and the next step we'll just play the uh, we'll just play these operating systems in the virtual box and we will just uh, mount th this uh, this ISO uh, file or the CD inside our uh, operating system. So after you download those uh, files, uh, import that into this virtual box. So click on open your virtual box, click on file and then import appliance and import those operating systems. So go to the section where you saved those files. So I saved it in my documents folder in the virtual images folder. So I'll just double click on pixel.ova and hit next and import and on the left side you can see that you have the Pixel operating system ready to go. So click on that and you will notice that in this operating system the storage is empty. So this is where we need to go to settings and uh, uh, basically uh, mount that CD that I was talking about, that .iso file. So click on choose disk and just uh, mount this .iso file or basically insert it into the storage of this pixel operating system and then make sure in your network you enable the network adapter so that you can connect to the internet uh, and adapter type might differ uh, from computer to computer depending on what you're using and now that you have the storage and the network set up we will go ahead and start our operating system uh, with that .iso file or the disk. And you can see that it's starting. And here is the welcome screen for the Raspberry Pi Pixel operating system. And uh, it's loading right now. And here you go. So 
So you have the main desktop here for the Raspberry Pi Pixel. And if you go on the top left, you can see that it's just like another computer. It has different programs uh, already installed. So it comes like that. It has some office tools, which was already pre-installed. There's internet, uh, pre-installed games, accessories. So it's basically a computer within another computer. And you can see that the internet works as well. So I can go to google.com and uh, connect to different things in the uh, internet. So similarly, we will do the same thing. Uh, in the uh, for our Ubuntu. So here you can see my pixel already running. So let's go ahead and import our Ubuntu operating system. Go to the location where you downloaded the Ubuntu uh, file. So in my case, again, it's in my documents folder. And then uh, click on Ubuntu.ova and then click on import. And uh, on the left, you can see your Ubuntu operating system uh, running as well. So similarly in this this case you have to insert that disk or mount that disk. So go select Ubuntu, go to its settings and storage and there are two empty signs here. So choose the first empty and click on the optical drive and choose the virtual uh, disk and then choose that Ubuntu.iso uh, and then hit OK. And uh, we have just inserted the disk in the storage. And similarly, the network needs to be enabled. Click on Start. And here is your Ubuntu machine running. And you can either install it or try it. So we'll try the Ubuntu. And here you go. So you have another. Uh, Ubuntu machine running uh, inside your Windows. So again, this is very uh, similar to the Pixel. It has internet and uh, everything that you will see in, uh, in basically another computer. So I can keep all these side by side. I have the Pixel on the left. I have the Ubuntu on the right. And I have the Windows running in the back. So Ta-da! There you go, Harry. That's how you do the whole thing. Hey, Rock Girl. How easily I can run the latest Raspberry Pi and Linux programs on the same machine. You always find the easiest way to do something. Thanks.